Welcome! Today we are going to play with Docker and we will do a very nice thing. We are going to create a MongoDB server using our Docker container in Windows and then we are going to use a MongoDB client, the MongoDB Compass, to connect in the MongoDB server that will be running in our container. It will be very easy and we are going to execute just a few steps that are these ones. We are going to download a MongoDB image from Docker Hub. We are going to create a Mongo container based in the Mongo image. We are going to take a look in the existing container. And then we are going to run the container, binding that to a port in our external, in our own computer external to the own container. And then we are going to connect in MongoDB server using our MongoDB client. So let's go. First step, we could take a look in the existing image. You, as you can see here, I have Docker installed in my computer and here is the version. Okay, so if you use the command Docker image, we could take a look at the existing image in my computer. I don't have any image related to Mongo. Then I can download that. But how can I know the MongoDB image name? We could browse online in Docker Hub, or we could here use the Docker search command. And here we could use a keyword like Mongo or MongoDB. Then take a look in the output. It's, it's are going to, to carry um, Docker Hub and give us the existing image names. Here we have several image names. And here is the first one, Mongo. That's the one we are going to use. So once you have found here the, the image name, we could then go on in, and create the and download the image. So to download the image, following the steps I have defined before, docker pull. The pull command is the command to download a new image and we just informed the image name and now the download is carried out. Okay, you probably have to download a few megabytes and then maybe we have to wait a little bit here, but it does not take so long. It's very fast in comparison when we download the entire tool to install in the own computer instead of run that in a Docker container. So here is the most um, heavy download, about 200 megabytes, but we have already downloaded more than the half. So just wait a few more seconds and we will be able to run our container based in this image. Okay, just more 10 megabytes and now extracting the downloaded file. Next step, as soon as this process is completed, that's now, now it's completed, we could then take a look again in our image. And uh, as you can see, now we have a Mongo image available in our computer. So we are able to start a container based in this image. As you can see here, we could create a container using the create command and then the image name, the name that appear here under the repository column. So it's not complicated. Just say here, Docker, create, and then the image to be used as basis. So Mongo. And now it are going to create a container. It has created, it has outputted the ID of this container. And now we could take a look in the existing containers with Docker PS. With PS, it lists just the executing containers. So this container was created, but was not executed. If you use here Docker PS minus A, we are going to see all containers. I have a lot of containers in my computer. And with minus A, we can see here that a container with this ID for the Mongo image is created 22 seconds ago, but it's not running. Right, so to run that, we have to use the instruction that's here defined. We are going to run um, the container based in the Mongo image. And we are going to, when this container runs, it has the server listening in, the, in this port, 27,017. But we are going to redirect that not to the same port in the local computer. We are going to appoint to another port like this one, 27,023. K minus G means it's detached. It means it's a background process. It's not going to print as a, a console to interact. 
and here the menus p is providing the ports and here the menu menus name we can give a name to the container that's going to be um, created so we are going to do that now executing this block of code so the container name would be for instance let's call that mongo v1 okay and we're going to run in this port i have previously defined now it's going to create a new container and it's it's running the test so we are not seeing anything here because it's the test and it's listening in this port we could take a look now if i execute again docker ps now we have an executing container that's up already for for 12 seconds and it's listening in the outside port in the on computer port in the port 27 23 so we could now listen at this port using the mongodb client so here we just paste the url that the connection string for mongodb and make a connection and you see now we are inside a mongodb server that's running in our own container and we could then explore its collections and documents so here it is one step step tutorial about how to create your own mongodb server in your windows docker hope you have enjoyed this video and see you next time Thank you.